South Asia is a very unique place. It's a place of many neat experiences, a lot of, of positive things, but it's also got some very unique challenges. I've spent, geez, I, I, countless months that have spilled into years in that area. And I feel like I've, I've tried to be as astute as I can in understanding culture and understanding the steps forward and what we're trying to do. But at the end of the day, I, my worldview has been shaped by my upbringing in the West. And as much as I can try and learn and, and understand another worldview, I'm always going to be limited within that worldview. And so we have a high, high value within the Aruna Project of local ownership and, and helping to, to create uh, indigenous leadership and structures around indigenous leaders who really understand some of the cultural nuances in ways that, we, that I simply can't. So we, what we do is we've actually built a platform to where we have a lot of South Asian leaders. As a matter of fact, our, our entire management team is all South Asian. And they do a phenomenal job of speaking into the need of these women, especially as we're working on both sides to be a profitable business, but at the same time to care for the need of these women. And we know that that's best met through local leadership, through indigenous leadership. We've got such good South Asian leadership on the ground that they're able to translate some of the cultural misses that I have when I, when I say, ah, I think we need to head in this direction. And they'll kind of say, well, maybe we should consider this, and then they'll kind of help me understand a little bit of why my Western thinking is a little bit off. 